Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole for the elect. Sibala is arguing with the Pittsburgh GMS camp. Coming into with another lesson through the Spirit and Power behind Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha HaKodash. No one in this lesson is edifying. And I uh, just seen a compilation video that one of the brothers did showing how a lot of celebrities are speaking about this truth, man. This truth. Okay, they've all heard about it. And now in these times, the Lord has a lot of people revealing that they know about it. I remember seeing Cassidy uh, speak about, you know, who uh, who the world really calls Christ. But I just seen a clip where he used the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You know, and that... Uh, kind of threw me kind of threw me i ain't gonna say it threw me but it's a it slightly surprised me i'm not super surprised because like i said i kind of peak cassidy you know on his little thing and then he went on he went through this little phase where he was doing um what do you call it he was doing um <clears throat> his battle rap and shit again where he was back to his normal things you know smoking and talking about this and that but i just seen this clip and i don't know how new it is where he said that the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the name of the Son is Yahweh Shai. Okay? And, uh, you know, the thing that I like about it, it's not even necessarily about the person. Even though I'm glad that Yahweh Shai is putting the spirit on these people with platforms to use those platforms to spread his name. You know what I'm saying? So, But it ain't about that person. It's about the fact that he's doing just that, that his word is getting out there. Now, what you got to know is, with this being um, knowledge that's coming back into the forefront, that's coming back into being known, there's going to come a repeating of, of the past, okay, of what these different, uh, you know, kings and different things like that did, okay? I'm going to grab a precept here. I'm going to have to get to uh, so like you. I'll see if I can get some Wi-Fi. I can't get none out here. Huh. Not letting me get no Wi-Fi out here. Damn. Well, I'm going to have to quote it if I can't get no Wi-Fi, man. They ain't letting me get none. So, I'm going to like you. That kind of made me lose my train of thought a little bit, but... You know, it's beautiful. Okay, now, yeah, the scripture say that the devil shall come down unto you having great wrath, for he knoweth that he have but a short time or a little time. <clears throat> All right? And this, we know that the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan is Esau, even the so-called white man. And one of the things that's being revealed is that the chief, okay, the chief of the so-called white man is you, you Amalekites, you, uh, how, how do you want to call it? The Khazars, you know, I don't even know. All of these words are going to become buzzwords at some point where you're going to, you know, not be able to have videos that say these things because it'll get striked off of your channel. All right. But those small hats, those 1948ers, all right, <clears throat> the imposters in the Holy Land, uh, you know, if that's even the way to, you know, whatever. Those people that are, that are currently claiming the heritage of Israelite, okay? Um, they, whenever you say anything bad about them, even, even think about that wording that I just spoke about where I'm like, oh, these different buzzwords. And I don't know if you can say that and they're going to remove my video. Why do you think that's a thing? Okay. And there's a, there's a, there's a saying that goes, if you want to know who runs the world, find out who it is you can't talk about or criticize. Well, who is it that you can't criticize or speak negatively about on the planet without getting canceled? You had this damn female rabbi, which if these, you know, people were going by the scripture, there should be no such thing as a female teacher on that level. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about rabbi. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, showing you another reason why they ain't the people. But she's on there talking about, well, I hate to, I hate to, you know, give it validation. I hate to do this and do that and give it any attention. But the sway that they have to be able to say that's anti us. And for people to go out there and just be like, nope, let's sweep it up. Let's sweep it up. Let's get it out of here. <laughs> okay. When there's anti-black, you know, so-called black 
stuff that happens all the time. All right. But it doesn't get the level of. uh, We don't have the power to cancel somebody for being racist against so-called black people. Okay, if we did, there'd be a lot of broke people because of all the racism, so-called racism. Okay, the hatred that's had for Jake, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. <clears throat> there'd be a lot of broke and fired people. Now, sometimes they do that just to keep up appearances. You know, certain people might get go viral on Twitter or something for, uh, or TikTok or whatever they go viral on for being so-called racist. Okay, to a black person, and then they might you might find out that they got fired la- later. But for the most part. <clears throat> that doesn't happen, man. And I wouldn't be surprised if they these people just end up getting a different job. You know what I'm saying? Uh, look at what happened to that one dude. Dylan Roof, I think was his name. When he went and shot up the so-called black church. And then what happened? They gave us as Burger King and a life vest, a security vest, bulletproof vest to protect his ass, man. You see? After he killed all them, them so-called black people in that church. <clears throat> All right, but nevertheless, this devil knows that he has but a short time, man. And what he's gonna do, you know, these 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 nineteen forty eighters, man. Which a lot of damn, a lot of information has been coming out, man. The scriptures say, "Shameful spewing shall be upon thy glory." All right, and then, and there was a dossier or like a uh, what was it? What was it? What's that called? A log, you know, a sales log or or, or ownership log for who owned these different slave ships. And they, they, all, all them names on there look like so-called, you know, them 1948ers, man. Them little hats. Them curly sideburns. Them curly burns. Whatever you want to call them niggas, man. Them wall humpers. All right? You know who I'm talking about. It was all them. Look like. They owned the slave ships that took you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans into slavery. Cristobal Colon, which is which is Christopher Columbus's real name, he was one of them small hats. All right, <clears throat> so the narrative is unfolding against this devil, man. The scriptures say Esau shall be revealed. Okay, so you know the Lord lifting up Esau's skirt and showing his uh, secret parts, so to speak, the things that you normally try to hide, the embarrassing things. All right, and Esau's embarrassment is being his shame is being shown, his nakedness is being brought to the fore. To the forefront, man. All right? And so that's what we have going on, man. All right? And so, man, you know, it's just a beautiful thing to see these, uh, and so lucky, you know, for the phone not working, and, you know, can't help it, but it's a beautiful thing to see these, uh, these people coming out, man, because you know what it lets us know, you know, just to keep holding on because we're getting closer to that end time, man. We're getting closer to that salvation. This devil's not going to let this keep going on, man. You could just, hey, look, man, you know, while we see these things going on and, you know, it puts a smile on your face, you know, you could just, you just know Esau's over there fuming, dog. You know, Esau is pissed. <clears throat> Esau got to be mad as hell that, uh, that all these jakes is coming out just openly saying, yeah, we the Israelites. Esau's through, okay? And we're just waiting. You know, we know that this devil, man, look, he already in the... Hey, man, he's already in the movings of creating a cash of society, okay, which is going to lead to that MOTB being uh, mandated, okay, and it's going to get to a point where people is going to have to, what is it, um, choose between taking that or death, man, you know, taking the, taking the MOTB or dying, all right? <clears throat> We're just praying and hoping the Lord keep the spirit on us to not uh to not fold, man. So I'm saying that because you have kept the, this word of my patience, I shall keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come to which shall try the whole world. Okay? So the hour of temptation is coming, man. And we just need to get how about you to keep us from it. Alright, to keep us sane. But yeah, it's a beautiful clip, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to like maybe splice it on to this video. You know, take portions of that brother's video and just put it in at the front or at the end. I don't know. Lord willing. I'm at the plantation right now, so I don't know if I'm going to be. You're definitely not going to be able to do it right now. So I might have to wait till I get to the crib and, you know, see how it goes from there. But, you know, we'll 
we'll see how the Lord plays it out. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. This is meant to be a quick lesson. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rechaha Kodash, the honor to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole fleet leg. With that, I want to say Shalom, Wa Baba Ball, Shalom.